Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm David. Welcome to The Average Vegans, a podcast to help you live an attainable vegan lifestyle. We're not the ripped influencer vegans you hear about in other podcasts. We're just some ordinary people living in the South, eating plants and loving animals. And on today's episode, we're discussing our favorite vegan products at Sprouts. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, no, it's our favorite vegan products at Sprouts. Thank you. I'm like, they're not gonna know what that. No, nah, I realize like the vegan thing I've been doing for a while, but the Sprouts thing I probably shouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> oh it's my funnier gosh. to say Sprouts though. It's funnier Sprouts. It is kind of funnier. I like it. It's it, good. They should have called it that. I really think so. I'm going to call that from now on, Spruits. Whole episode, I'm going to say Spruits instead of Sprouts. No. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, right. Sprouts, which is a grocery store. <laughs> it's not just a grocery store. It's an experience. No. Okay. It's not, not true either. <laughs> Uh, it's they like, do have a they do have a sign inside of the sprouts near my house that says put more plants on your plate and that's gonna be my honorary tagline now like i like that i think i might make that a hashtag we use on instagram because that's pretty I like good that. i like that i do i like that too they definitely when i think of sprouts i think of <clears throat> Kind of in the middle between Trader Joe's and uh, Whole Foods. Yeah. Because it's a little expensive in certain ways, mm. not in others. Like some things are, you know, a little bit on par with certain, like, uh, like a regular grocery store. But some things are a little bit more expensive for sure. Not Whole Foods prices. No. Nah. But they can be pretty pricey sometimes for certain things in Sprouts. But then it's not like Trader Joe's where everything's is everything is a Trader Joe's brand or whatever, right. you know, like this uh, Sprouts does has have their own brand, but they also have like a bunch of products that you sometimes cannot find at other stores. Mm -hmm. If you have a Sprouts near you, you're pretty lucky. I just got hours about it's like 10 minutes away from my house and it was just built i'd say like three years ago at the most and i almost cried i was so excited i was like i cannot thank you enough because i have a publix which is fine they do have some things but that's really all i was rocking with so i was like a sprouts everything else is 30 minutes away so if you're close to a sprouts you're lucky they've got some cool crap we're gonna talk about today yeah much like much like whole foods who has um their uh um, um like a wider range of unique products um overall as well as like plant-based products um they're like that but also a thing because Trader joe's they have like maybe like three things it's Trader joe's brand and that's it to mm -hmm. your point but sprouts has like their own stuff as well as uh, um, a more mainstream brand of things, but they have more unique options in that, in that way, which is nice. So you can you kind of you can find some uh, some weird stuff and some stuff that's hard to find. You know, it's which which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like they have some really good vegan jerkies and stuff and things like that. I found it before. Yeah, there's definitely some things we have on our list that I cannot find anywhere else but Sprouts. So that's you know something to take of note. So. Um, again, if you're close to one or if you're ever traveling and you're close to a Sprouts, just like make a little stop a little in, stop. see what you can find. Have a little stop. Have a little tip stop. <laughs> um, and for, Sprouts is actually fairly, fairly new. They haven't been around as long as some of, some of the, your, your larger, larger stores. They were actually founded in 2002, which is only like 19 years ago, which is crazy. I, mean, I forget I've been like, people are like. Sprouts was founded by mom and pop Sprouts back in 1476 and whatever. But, <laughs> but now when you say 19 years ago, I don't think 2002. I am one of those old people oh, where yeah. I'm just like, I think 19, like 94 or something yeah. like that. Which, like which was just... like 30 years ago. <laughs> I hate life. <laughs> yeah, so it's old. weird. It's weird, right? It's like, it's we start to think about time, like how Cleopatra was closer to our time than she was the building of the pyramids or something like that. 
it's so bizarre it doesn't yeah. make any sense yeah yeah. Um, we did see that Sprouts was originally like a fruit hut in like the 40s or something, yeah, but, but really it became like a Sprouts that we know in 2002. Right. So it was actually started by the son and the grandson of the, by the person who actually owned the fruit stand. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was at 2002 in uh, Chandler, Arizona. They actually have wow, the, yeah. And they actually have you don't cool hear a lot of things coming from Arizona. So especially, especially Chandler. That's, I, <laughs> I think it's friends. No, but uh, they've they've grown to 370 stores and over 31,000 team members, which is uh, love that. Yeah. Uh, um, and there's definitely a lot of states: Alabama, Arizona, um, Georgia, Florida. There's a whole bunch. We'll put a list on. Um, our show notes so you guys can look and see if there's any near you um but there's quite a few so you might be able to find some goodies you can also message some of your friends that live in these states and say go to sprouts get me some of the like non-perishable stuff you know Mm. and ship it to them see look now you're thinking I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, wow, I, that would be a great idea, like a pin pal, but with food. <gasps> it's, a, it's, a, it's a food pal. It's a food pal? Food pal. But like I would do that with my best Ooh. friend, Deb, who lives near in like South um, South California, like Southern California, like near um, San Diego. I'm sure there's like vegan donuts. Oh, yeah. Those I do. probably wouldn't travel. Would they travel? Yeah, you could pretty good make that work. Vegan cookies would. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh, I'm gonna make this a thing. Oh, Food Lord. pals is coming. <laughs> so I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go buy the domain for anybody else can. <laughs> no, but <laughs> so I, funny. I go there. I, I go there now and then and get uh, usually if I want something unique or something different or my well, kabuchas and candy, which I'll talk about in a bit. That's those, those are my go-to's for for sprouts. But uh, yeah, if I want something different and unique, or look around and find something that it's hard to find or it's kind of you know a snack, it's great for snacks. Um, but we have some of our uh, some of our favorites, uh, which is which is one thing about Sprouts that I do love, and I've actually had to go get a few things from there before. Is they have a like a really big like vi- mi- like vitamin mineral beauty like, uh, like type of products over there, which is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, their wall of vitamins is a little bit overwhelming, but oh, yeah. there is always someone nearby the vitamin section. Like that, I think that's where they keep their like office area, like their, you know, employee area, Mm. because they know they need someone to answer questions and like help people find things. They have so much vitamins, but they have a lot of the vegan options. They're, you know, usually very well labeled. Like they're pretty good at sprouts at making sure you know what is a plant based item with their labeling and stuff. Very. Um, But they have a lot of beauty products too. These things are a little bit more expensive in this section. I will say that. So just something to keep in mind. You know, these are going to be splurges if you get any kind of beauty <laughs> products from, from Sprouts. Yeah. But my one tip, just like I, my one tip from Trader Joe's was to always go to the flowers and buy flowers for yourself because they have the great flowers. Um, Sprouts has really good plants hmm. that you don't really, they have like cute little um like containers like they have one where it looks like it's a, a little dude with a mohawk and it's really yeah. a plant coming out of his head it's oh, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cute. <laughs> so i would say check the plants because they've got some good ones and there was one as we were leaving that i noticed and i was like man if i had seen that yeah you're like, like it's good when i walked see in <laughs> yeah, see this because you have snagged it this thing would have come home with me oh, yeah. so always check the plants it's a small little area but you know it's got some stuff there so oh yeah now for for me, like I said, the bulk items is my is my gym. I've I've gone to Sprouts quite a bit because I have their candy. Oh my god, the little uh, unicorn gummies. They do really mm-hmm. good, like vegan gummies. Most people who do vegan gummies like uh, they're kind of like overly chewy and like gummy gummy and mm-hmm. not like. But like I've got a few of their vegan gummy options. They're really good. So if you like, if you're looking for like a really good vegan candy, uh, a vegan trail mix, or yeah, and yes. uh, the trail mix, the trail mix are really good. They have a lot of good options. I like the bulk. I, I prefer doing bulk for trail mixes, primarily because uh, I I'll eat an entire bag if I if I get ready. <laughs> so I can get like this is what I need just for the trip home or just for you know my for the for the night or whatever. 
Um, but I love bulk for Trimix, but their candies. Oh my god, I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm a candy fiend. So their candies are really good. <laughs> they even have like they even have like um, chocolate covered like dark chocolate covered like uh, almonds yes. or like raisins and uh, and uh, to to to, to uh, counter the milk uh, chocolate option. So if you uh, if you like you know, like your like your milk duds or whatever, you can probably find a vegan <laughs> option in there for that, which is nice. But uh, their their candy and uh, bulk options are really really good. Especially like their nutritional yeast bulk options, their beans, yes. mixes, all that stuff. Yeah, it's and we we we, we talked. We had an episode on, not too long ago about uh, like saving money on a vegan diet. Uh, we talked about buying bulk. Episode fifty one. There you go, and <laughs> you know it. And then yes. uh, yeah, so the uh, the bulk is going going bulk is going to save you money overall. Uh, also, you can uh, think about buying. But here's the thing: Whole Foods are bulk options. Like you pull a little lever and it goes. <laughs> and dumps yeah but with the bulk options they use uh, sprouts as a scoop the benefit there is if you're is it especially if you do something that's mixed like mix like a trail mix or anything like that you can actually like get like all with more of something you can actually kind of use the scoop to get more of a certain type mm-hmm. of thing so if you get oh that's true like you could shimmy out some more of like a certain nut that you like yeah, or exactly. whatever yeah which i like uh, that. i didn't even yeah. think about that i like doing, I, I like <laughs> doing that yeah because like i like you know, like i like macadamia nuts oh i love macadamia it's nuts so good right, nuts too yeah cookies. yeah there's a tin bean soup mix in the bulk area and i when i saw that i immediately was like that is i should have mentioned that in our save money yeah while eating vegan episode because that's something you could make in bulk ahead of time add some rice to it and you could eat that for a while freeze some and eat it the next week and that's a great bulk item that they already put together for you. Like, thanks, guys. I, mean, I, I, I keep a soup mix on, on hand at the house. Especially at nights, I'm like, I can't really cook. I have mean, nothing uh, I can really do. I just throw, I'll, I'll make a veggie stock and throw a soup mix with some like uh, um, like frozen veggies in it. Just go to, just let it sit, cook it down. I'll have, have soup for a couple weeks, so a couple of days. Uh, but one thing I did get on the bulk I never got before was these like uh, chili mango little little dried mango. Yes, they and were they were they were super good. I was I was hoping to be a little more spicy, a little more like citrusy. Um, uh, I wanted spicy. I got a, I got a lot of spicy stuff that day. I got hot sauce and you did. It was like, a spicy day. Like spicy like snacks are sitting here. They're all gone now. Um, did we ever mention that we actually go shopping together for these episodes? I don't, I don't know if so. we ever said that in any of the other yeah. ones. So we've done one for Whole Foods, yeah, Trader Joe's, mm-hmm. and now Sprouts. Mm-hmm. And we went together for, I think, almost, I think we did at least two of them. Did we go to Whole Foods together? We no. went to Trader Joe's together. Trader Joe's and we, and we yeah, and we went to Sprouts together. So, like, we shopped together, guys. Like, this is work. Yeah, we have to do this. <laughs> Uh, we put in the steps for you guys. <laughs> but that's one thing I do like about them, though, is their their um, their bulk snacks are really unique. They're not like the same thing you get everywhere else. They like taffy and all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, like, I'll, they I'll, do. I'll, they I'll, a... I love bulk sections, so especially theirs. So yeah, I mean it's it's something that can save you money, and you can also, I, I would say, if you're gonna try something new that you're not sure about, don't buy like a massive amount the first time. Here's my tip for bulk. Like your chili mango, you didn't buy a huge amount. No, you bought kind of like a smaller amount just to see if you liked it to see if next time you'd want to buy a bigger bulk. So like, don't right. go crazy. You may not even like the tin bean soup mix. So maybe the first time, just get a little bit little and see how you like style. it. Yeah, yeah test because, it out there. Because I go. actually had a package. I actually had the exact same thing in a package from another brand, some brand. And I went and got the bulk one instead because, like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. Uh, they were good. They were definitely good. I just, uh, I was like, ah, I think they were chilly. Like, I had to be spicy. I'm like, no matter, set my, my mouth on fire. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's got a kick to it, but it's not bad. So, <laughs> set my mouth on fire. <laughs> I think, I think you'd be, I think you'd, you'd be, you know, you wouldn't have liked them because for the spice. Yeah, but yeah, I like spicy. So. Saying I am a weak mouth girl. I'm it's just, fine, hey man. Say, fine. Say how it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the bakery at Sprouts. Mm. Um, they have a mixed berry muffin, which they did not have when we went, and that was a bummer. But it is vegan. It's the only muffin that I know of that they have that's vegan. Mm. Um, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Like they 
pack that bitch full of berries. Like they yep. do not skimp. <laughs> it's great. I actually, I actually got them for my when my brother, sister in law, and my niece, my nephews, and my niece came to town before they moved back to Georgia. Um, they stayed in my house for one night as kind of like a midway before going all going to my parents' house. Uh, so I went to Sprouts and got like fruit and just stuff for breakfast the next morning. I got I got those those muffins. They love them. Yeah, and they're not vegan. They're, either. they're so like, good. These are really good. I'm like, yeah, dude, they're vegan Oof. too. What's up? You would think with the amount of berries they have in there that they would just be like so wet and moist that they'd fall apart, mm -hmm. but they're delicious. They're so I wish good. they had more options. Work mm -hmm. on that, Sprouts. Um, they do have a good assortment of Dave's Killer Bread products. Like they give you all the stuff. Message, yeah, It was great. It's way more than I see even at like Whole Foods. So very good supply if that's like your favorite brand. True. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of desserts that no. are vegan in that area there's a few but like they've got all these cookies and pies and stuff that they make and there's very rarely a vegan option and that's a bummer because i think they they could do it there i mean whole foods does it i think there's like um i think they have, they have chocolate they have chocolate chip cookies can't talk today they mm -hmm. have chocolate chip cookies, and they also have like these cream filled cookies there. That's the only thing I've ever gotten there that was vegan dessert wise. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, other yeah. than uh, in the bakery area, they have like ice creams and stuff like that in the frozen area. But right. As far as bakery so, goes, it's very limited. That's my one negative for that. That, mm. you know, give me some more sweets. Big we have big. problems here. We're sweets people. Um, but when I, when you walk just a little bit further, I don't know if all sprouts are like this, but all the ones I, in Georgia are. There's like um, in front of the um, like food area where they can make you like a sandwich and stuff, like not anything we can have. There um, are these little areas that have like pre-made food. And for some reason, our Sprouts puts a bunch of vegan cheese in that area. Mm -hmm. um, and I, for some, I would just think it would be over where they have all the other vegan like the the like sliced deli vegan meat and all that stuff like i would think the cheese would be over there and it's not so like i just want people to know that it ha they have a crap ton of vegan cheese kind of near where they have all the other cheeses like the dairy filled cheese um i guess they feel like you know they're including they, they kind of mush our stuff it's with like regular food you know like killing food they've definitely put all of our vegan meat substitutes with all of the like actual meat and i i get their idea but some See, people wouldn't even look in that section and wouldn't even know there was cheese there <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's like weird so i'm like oh okay you're being inclusive and like really like normalizing and then i'm like are you doing it on purpose <laughs> are you trying to just like screw with me on purpose just maybe come over to the meat and dairy meat the dairy meat section or whatever right like i have no. to go over to the cheese section because that's where you're putting my vegan cheese yeah. when i would assume it'd be in the little whatever whatever yeah. but in that section they have vegan cheese that i have never seen before so good planet um is a brand that i've i don't know that i've ever had before but I definitely haven't had this product from them. I got their cheese wedges. They look like those like um, cow, those like old like school, um, looks like a pie where oh, yeah, they're yeah. all like little wedges, right? Um, <clears throat> they're So they're called Good Planet, but it looks like Good Plant. It doesn't really look like Planet. Uh, it's cute. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And it, I got the smoked Gouda cheese wedges. They're amazing. They I already post them on Instagram so you guys can go see the brand, see what they look like. They're so good. Um, I love them, love them. My uh, my daughter loves them, so highly impressed. Oh, wow. I also, I know, right? If Gabby likes a vegan cheese, that's a, a big deal. I also got a Kite Hill soft cheese, like salt and pepper, like cracked pepper. And I love everything from Kite Hill. And I've never seen their soft cheese. I almost skipped it because I thought it wasn't their brand. It's a completely different color. Mm -hmm. Like their branding's usually white and it's like green and yellow. 
So like I did like skipped over it at first. So it's a soft cheese. Huh. It's like almost like a cream cheese, but not, I guess. Um, it's so good. I, I want to cry. It's <laughs> so good. I put it on pasta last night, which Ooh. I'll talk about what else I put in it. Oh God, it's good. That's Get really it. Good. Love that brand. Nice. I, um, now that you get me the cheeses, I uh, I uh, I don't really that really caught my eye, but uh, especially usually 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 we don't we don't get the same thing. Usually what you get, I don't get, and vice mm-hmm. versa. Yeah, um, I'll have to check them out next time. I, um, I like that we do that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We're cool. Go totally cool. Uh, <laughs> now kombuchas are actually their, their prices on kombuchas are about the same as Whole Foods, but they do have mm-hmm. they do have some like really unique brands. Um, they have their own brand, which is the first time I ever got it before. I usually get um, GT, so it's my go to. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I got a pineapple coconut uh, kombucha from Sprouts. It actually is really good. Is it? Okay, yeah, I, I had I, that one too, so I I'm excited. It. I had that. I drank it on the way home. It was really good. Yay! Yeah, I was definitely, I was I, cause I'm, I'm, I'm so weird because usually like I like GT because I like a sweet kombucha that's like not not like a too sweet because that I get the Kroger ones which are a little sweeter than I would like, but they're still good. Mm-hmm. So, but usually all, most kombuchas to me are they're a little bland. They have kind of that weird. Like bland, kind of like yes. off flavor to them. These did not. They were super good. So yeah, I, w- I would definitely get the sprouts kombuchas again. And they were kind of out of kombucha. That was like pretty bare when we were there. So I maybe now that you say you like that brand, and hopefully I'll like it too. Um, I'll definitely look for different flavors. They have just like a, a good selection of kombucha. So I, I we wanted to mention that because you know not every place has that good of a selection. Right. Um. All right, let's talk about the frozen foods. There's so, so much many. vegan options. It's overwhelming. It's like hard to pick just a few things. Do not go there hungry. Holy <laughs> shit. It is, it's out of control. There's pizzas, burritos, chicken nuggets. There's all kinds of things. I got um, the Alpha brand, one of my favorite vegan brands, love them to death. I got their pot pies, which I've had before, and they are literally like little frozen, almost like a, oh, they're like an Uncrustable, but flaky. Oh, they're to die for. They're just enough to like, because I don't like to eat too much in one sitting, so like, I just, I just can't literally, I just can't eat too much in one, one sitting. So it's a perfect amount for me, but I got their tamales. Ah, they're so good. They're so good. Alpha brand. I love you. Sponsor me. Send me some stuff. You're my fave. Heart. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> now even, of course they have the, your, your typical brand, your, your uh, impossible, your light life beyond. Uh, and they have they have a couple they have a couple like um I got downstairs it's like this it's uh it's like a like a chicken thing I haven't eaten it yet because I haven't just cooked with it um mm-hmm. but they have like, they have some unique seitan uh and and faux meat options and they even have their own own brand of burgers which looked interesting it had like mushroom and stuff in it yeah it was really weird uh yeah so yeah, yeah if you if you're looking for like uh, like a good like uh faux a faux meat vegan option Sprouts has a lot of options more than that more than I even realized they did after we walked around. And they are with the meat. So yeah, again, so are, yeah. you have to go over into like the frozen like meat area right in front of like the meat section where the people are. So it's not convenient for us, but like that's just where it is. So so that you know when you don't miss out because you're gonna be confused. It's yep. not in the the fake meat is not in the um frozen area. It's kind of in front of the food area, like the right. place where you get sandwiches and stuff. Um, but they do have a ton of options, like way more. Again, uh, the thing about Sprouts is they just give you more of that brand than you can find in other places. Like I can find Beyond Burgers or Impossible Burgers, but this, you know, at Sprouts, you can find the nuggets, you can find the patties, you can find the ground, you can find the meatballs, you can find the sausage, like they like really give it all to you. So you can find a crap ton of frozen stuff. Like we didn't even list everything because it was, it's too much. There's so much. It's nice to be able to go to a grocery store and have too many options. Like what? 
Right. It's it was a sweet spot because you have you can have too many and like be like overwhelmed, but Sprouts can yes. have like a good sweet spot because Trader Joe's it's like, okay, I got two pasta sauces. I don't like either one of these. Son of a. <laughs> yeah. The Sprouts gives you enough of an option where it's not too overwhelming, but it's not too expensive. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, because Sprouts aren't usually a huge store, so I mean it's still a little tame, a little mm-hmm. bit. So definitely check out the frozen area. Um, we wanted to talk about some unique snacks, and I also put some like not unique but vegan <laughs> snacks in here too. <laughs> um, okay, they have spicy pork rinds, like vegan pork rinds. Yeah, it's I got them. They're actually bean bean fields. Yeah, I'm had the bag here. See, bag. They're bean fields, and they're weird. They're like they're like they have like a they look like a, a pork rind ish, but they're a little bit like a uh, hard funyun. It's spicy. Uh, okay. But it's really okay. they're really good though. Like I will legit get these again. Like seriously, they're really good. Uh, if you like spicy, uh, that again it's the fiery hot. I'm sorry, I think they have other flavors too. But these are the, yeah. But uh, they didn't when we were there, which was a bummer. Uh, it sucks, yeah, because these are really good. Like it's it's the very hot <laughs> bean field grain free rings. And uh, nice. yeah, they're like they're really good. Like they are spicy. They got a like, really good kick to them. They're spicy enough where it's like it kind of hurts a little bit, but not enough where it like lingers and you hate yourself. <laughs> this is really good. And okay. by the way, you're like they're really good with some cold brew whiskey. Just so everyone's know. <laughs> it's, good, it's a good balance. It's, it's a good sweet and uh, and hot balance. You know. Such an interesting combo there. Spicy and cold brew whiskey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Good. Oh my gosh. Um, so they also have multiple options of vegan peanut butter cups. I have a sweet tooth, so I'm going to mainly talk about sweet stuff. Literally everything else on that list is sweet. <laughs> uh, my snacks are all sweet, except for like the cheese I just mentioned is probably the only thing I would snack on that's not. Um, but they have peanut butter cups, so they have the Unreal and they have the, is it Justin, I think is the other mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I like both. Both are good. I, I, I don't really have a preference, but they also have these, um, the Coco Mel's coconut milk caramels. That are so they're good. like, oh my gosh, they're so good. They're, they're good. like the candies your grandma would give you. Yeah. Dude. You know? Yeah. yeah. They're grandma candy, but they're vegan and they are delicious. They're I love really them good. so much. They're my favorite. <laughs> so cute um the other next next three are mine so let's just I mean, i'm just gonna talk yeah, <laughs> okay good, so man, there's yeah. nelly bars these are found kind of near the cream in that area so again in a weird spot so i'm trying to tell you where i can find them they are like they look like they're little candy bars um and they kind of are they're a little bit like ice cream inside but but not so one that I get is it like a nougat kind. One is a peanut butter and chocolate. Um, they go in the fridge and they, they are, they're soft and like creamy inside to the point where it's like ice cream. Uh, divine. So good. And they're small. They're like real, you know, really little. So you're not indulging too much, but love them. Can't find them anywhere else. Never in my life. If I found them in another store. Yeah. I've never heard of them before. To you should point them out to me. <clears throat> Yeah, and they say vegan on them, and they are, so yay. <laughs> like, double check it every time because I'm like, this can't be real. <laughs> so good. Um, I think I spelled these cookies. It's Partake, I think, is the brand. Um, a, they're a cookie brand, and I can't find... Okay, so I also, back to Nature Cookies, they have both brands at Sprouts. And they have options that I have, again, never seen in another store. Mm. So I, I've like, they had like the birthday cake option, which is not really my flavor, but it's my daughter's. And I, I've never seen that option anywhere else. So if you like cookies, the Partake and the Back to Nature, both options have amazing cookies and Sprouts has options like flavors you're not going to find anywhere else. They have the same for those, um, Lenny and Lenny or whatever. Is that their names? Uh, Lenny and Larry. 
Larry, Lenny and Larry. I knew I wasn't, he was close. Um, They have a bunch of those options too. Like the whole freaking row of them. So if you want some sweets, Sprouts got you. Oh, definitely. They have definitely options for that. Uh, I'm a sauces guy. So I like like sauces. (laughs) Uh, I just keep a bunch in the my fridge just for putting on random, just random things around the house. Um, but there's one that I haven't had that uh, my girlfriend talks about a lot, and you said it's really good. Is the uh, pigeon sauce? Yes, I got the caramelized onion one. I've had all flavors, but I got the caramelized onion one this time. Um, and again, I used that in some of the Good Planet um, cheese and put it in a pasta dish last night with something we're going to talk about in a few minutes. And um, amazing, absolutely amazing. It's so creamy. Those sauces are so flavorful. And again, it's like a product where I instantly think this cannot be vegan. This is is like, damn, (laughs) I'm like so excited about it. But the the next one and the last one are ones that you told me you like. So I want to hear about those. Uh, Yeah, so there's the uh, General, General Tao Sky Valley. Now they also make a sriracha that's really good. Like I love all their sauces. Like they have, like, they, had, like, they had a Korean barbecue one. Oh my god! Ooh, so I would good. get that one. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> it's hard. So, the sauces are actually pretty hard to find, especially like um, like uh, any sauce other than their um, uh, sriracha, like their general Tao and their Thai peanut sauce. I have Thai peanut. I have two bottles of that downstairs because I'm gonna run out of one. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Sky Valley sauces. <laughs> If you get if you can find the Sky Valley sauces, uh, Sprouts carries them. I think Whole Foods carries them too. But yeah, the Sky Valley sauces are so good. I bought one of the General Sos, so I'm excited to try it. So yeah, should make it I'll let you know what I think. It's really good. And you made me take a picture of the hot sauce one, so you have to talk about that one oh, too. Oh yeah, the uh, Siete hot sauce. They, um, my favorite one is the Chipotle. Cause it, uh, I don't know, it's just, I like the smoky, the hot smokiness of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a burrito this week uh, where um, they put uh, like chipotle or like like a hot sauce powder with seasonings into some ranch. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. So I'm looking forward to like trying that <laughs> with something this week or weekend just to like have a chipotle ranch thing. That sounds amazing. Oh, oh yeah. what a good combo. Oh yeah. Um, Sprouts also has a bunch of vegan queso options, which again, a few years ago, I never would have thought that was a, such a thing that we would be, we given. So, and now there are multiple options. And again, Sprouts has ones that I, I can't find anywhere, even at a Whole Foods. When I say I can't find them anywhere, I mean, even at a Whole Foods, which is shocking because they right. usually have like everything, right? But no. There's a lot of things at Sprouts you can only find there. So yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I'm a sauce guy. So like, if I can see a fun, a fun, tasty sauce, I'm gonna snag it. Um, <laughs> no, this is my, this is my thing right here. They have they have like some really good pre workout and protein powder options. They have a whole like the whole aisle and wall of nothing but this stuff. Um, so if mm-hmm. you're a if you are an active individual, hitting the gym, lifting the weights. Putting them up and down again, <laughs> getting swole, getting your run on, getting oh, your iron no. supplement, oh. <laughs> going to the iron church. Anyway, um, He's lost his mind. I guys. really have. I can't, man. It's, I it's, can't uh, control him. <laughs> yeah, it's my brain is already fried. Oh, uh, it's only Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. My brain's already <laughs> like, no, no, I just say random things. Um, <laughs> but no, this is actually, it's actually a really good spot. The prices are actually not that bad either uh, compared to like places like Whole Foods or places or even. Especially stores that focus on these sorts of things. The prices are actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, the pre-workout options that are protein powder options are really good. And a lot of times they have um, these, like, I don't want to say sample size, but the like one serving size Mm. of a lot of their bigger products of pre-workout and protein powder so that you can try the product before buying it in a bigger quantity. So that's always a lovely thing. Um, they have so many bars, Dude. like granola bars or like protein bars or just bars. And there are like, I would say like a majority of them are vegan. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so cool. And David got me to try 
go macro yes and i've only had one so far and i fucking loved it i had the banana and almond butter oh so good it was so good not a weird texture which happens a lot with vegan bars sometimes they are so dry i don't give a crap yeah i'll diss them yeah you're good they're dry they're dry as crap or they're gummy this is a great flavor and i'm very excited about it so there you go yeah, I love the, I love the Gamaco bars, man. They they actually have a lot of out options for it, uh, but Go Macro is one of my favorite favorite bars to go to, especially like if I'm like have low blood sh- blood sugar, I'm just like craving mm-hmm. something, I need to like, get a spike of energy. Go Macros, those are like those are just oh so good. <laughs> um, they also carry Lara bars. Um, yes, a really a good lot. Of yeah, great selection of those too. Lara bars are great. They're they're not gonna be as he- heavy and filling as like Go Macro, which is they're almost mm-hmm. like they're almost meal replacement to degree, given the how yes how they are. Uh, but lar bars are great, especially um, I love people like giving their kids lar bars. So just like dates and a, and a mm-hmm. couple of fruits, and that's it. So lar bars are really good. Lar bar, yeah, lar they bar, have a lot of options there too. And they have cereal. They have a lot of cereal bar, cereal there too. That's why I learned lar bar yes. has, a, has a cereal, which is surprising. Yeah, that was really cool. I like that they kind of expanded to something else. Yeah, that's interesting. Weird, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, um, the name, next man. thing we're talking about is me. I'm so excited. Okay, listen. Um, I don't know if I have the brand, but I will put it in the show notes. That's a lion's mane mushroom crumble. I love mushrooms and I love a lion's mane. I love an oyster um, mushroom, whatever they're called. Um, I just love all of them. And I got excited. So I bought it. And last night I cooked up the lion's mane mushroom crumble and that's when i used my little bit of i'm gonna scroll back up hold on my bitch and sauce caramelized onion and my good planet um smoked gouda cheese i put um some spinach and the actually what's really cool is this mushroom crumble comes with carrots in it so there's like cubes and diced up carrots already in there thanks guys thanks for that so i I added a bunch of um spinach to it and i uh put it over some pasta and it was so good but i told my husband i was like you're not gonna like this you hate mushrooms like this is my dish i'm not sharing basically and he goes well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to try a bite of just the mushroom stuff. And I'm like, okay, he got a bowl <laughs> and he ate a whole bunch of it, hey man, which I'm so chance. happy about <laughs> but now I don't have as much left over. It was just a little bit of a pain. <laughs> you, can't, you can't crush your taste, man. I know, but he hates mushrooms and he liked this so that's good. Uh, that's a that's like a great endorsement right there so I'll look for this product scene. i'll put it in the show notes and i'll probably share it on instagram too because i like it that much it, was, it looked really good <laughs> Ooh, excited one thing i love about sprouts though is their tofu prices are really good the tofu prices are uh, especially compared to like whole foods which is like ridiculous Trader Joe's has really good prices on tofu but if you don't have that as an option mm-hmm. uh, sprouts is a really great, really good place to get it, especially like your uh, high protein tofus, like the ones that are really thick and heavy. Um, they're actually, I think they're better than, than like uh, uh, Trader Joe's when it comes to that price wise. Yeah, and they have their own brand, so that's great. They also have some that are already come pre flavored, mm-hmm. which I know can like take out that like having to sauce something kind of thing. Um, <laughs> side note. <laughs> tangent whatever i one time got um like a buffalo tofu that was like already pre-seasoned and i think it was when like one of my jobs and i didn't have something to eat one day so i rushed and i was like oh well it's already got sauce on it so that's great i'll add it to the salad yeah it was bad oh no I've never had bad tofu before nor after. Thank the goodness, because it was <laughs> holy shit, was it bad? And I had mixed it all up in my salad. Oh, no. Cause I didn't really smell anything. Like I I guess I I didn't even think 
and also had buffalo sauce so like it yeah oh man i knew immediately though and i was like oh my god now all the shit i just bought and put into the salad i had to throw out because it tasted like rancid tofu no sir no No, sir i cannot get flavored pre-flavored tofu ever again it's like it's like um when you were a teenager and you had that one alcohol that made you puke a bunch and you could never have it again it's i can never have a pre-flavored tofu yeah Usually, if I get if I get prefer, prefer tofu, it's like the soy sauce or teriyaki or like a smoked tofu. Mm-hmm. But I just don't get anything other than that flavor wise. Um, speaking of drinking, and I did not mean to like segue that so easily, but here we are. Um, I found a Shirley Temple like cans, like little cans of Shirley Temple by a brand called Reed at Reed's. Excuse me. And um, Shirley Temples made me think of my childhood. It's one of the, like, I guess a good memory. And I, I really wanted them. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to get them. And then later that night, I also got some like flavored vodka. I think I got like a cherry limeade is what it is. I'm like, that sounds like it would go together. It does. Oh, yeah. And I don't drink. Ask David. I no. do not. It is not my thing. But I was like, this sounds delish. Let's just do it. it and in. I've had one, <laughs> one since Sunday, and that's it. They're still wow. sitting there. <laughs> wow, I know. I know. I'll have good. another one soon. I promise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. So I've never seen these drinks anywhere else and they are delicious. So there's a, an interesting drink option. They also have like a Italian soda that comes in these beautiful, tall, like skinny bottles that I think are like, I pretty sure they have a bunch of flavors of them. I, I skip over some of them because they have grapefruit and that makes me want to vomit. Ew. So I, <laughs> it's so gross like it's what i can picture right now but they have like a lemonade one that's really good too so they do have some interesting drinks you can pick from there you go that's my last tip i have bonus Um, bonus tip okay uh, when you go to trader joe's go to the back area where the restrooms are Mm -hmm. and that is where they put their clearance area and you get some really really cool stuff i i was back there looking for something not even a clearance i think it was restroom or I'm trying to find the mask or something. I want to buy mm-hmm. a barrel, a barrel full of prepackaged giant bags of vegan a pump vegan pumpkin candy made with real pumpkin. These gummy candies. That's crazy. Oh my god, they're so good. So yeah, if uh go back and check out the clearance <laughs> area. There's like there's stuff that like left over they don't sell anymore. Uh or yeah. something uh, seasonal. Is that the seasonal? Definitely want to go checking it out. And I forget that that's there every well, time. We should have gone look over there because I forgot to. And yeah, it's like, yeah it's just we like totally that. forgot. Just walked right past it. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Dummies. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we've given you a bunch of things that we love from Sprouts. As usual, we want to hear what you love at Sprouts. Um, and if you've like had a, something from Sprouts and they discontinued it, I really want to hear about it because that has happened to me before at Trader Joe's and it makes me very sad. Um, so we want to hear all about your favorite products from Sprouts and all that, you know, all that stuff. Okay. I want to hear what other kind of rest or uh, grocery store places you want us to check out and give you our favorites from we have some local ones to us like you know we could do like basic Publix kind of thing but like I don't know that they have much that's different from other places but you know give us some ideas now how do you give us ideas you can message us on Instagram or Facebook at the average vegans you can email us at the average vegans at gmail.com um, and then of course you can find our podcast at Apple podcast, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, or anywhere else you get your podcast fix. Make sure to leave us a review. Pretty, please, pretty, pretty, please recommend us to your friends, your family, everybody. Of course you can find all of the show notes, links, and all that stuff on our website, theaveragevegans.com. And again, we want to hear about your favorite Sprouts products, where we should shop next don't twist my arm um and any other episode ideas you might have 
But other than that, that's it for this week. All right. Well, until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.